Hello and welcome to my review of Linvo. What is Linvo? It says here that Linvo is a multi or multi-purpose and flexible operating system that is based around Linux kernel and GNU. These operating systems are simply called Linux. However, they are GNU Linux distribution, you, you know that. Uh, Linvo's goal is to be easy and efficient to use. However, however productive and reliability as GNU Linux is, Linvo has the best applications for everyday and professional use. So, they made a lot of claim here. And what we're going to do, I'm going to install this. Linvo, I'm going to install it, use it for a couple of weeks, and see how it matches up. Now, this uh, Linux distribution is based off of uh, Slackware, and I've been looking for a good uh, Slackware-based distribution for a, a long time. Uh, trying Salix, and there's another one too that I that I tried um, with no success. I, I wasn't really uh, fond of it. So hopefully, this will be different. Okay, so let's begin the installation. I'm going to install it in VirtualBox. So let's open up VirtualBox here. Okay, now I tried to install Chakra, but that's we we don't need that anymore. So we're going to use this, and we're going to install. change the Chakra CD here, or ISO image, and we're going to install Linvo. There we go. So that that is selected, click on OK, and then click Start. Select Language, English, that's good. Try Linvo without any change to your computer. Let's click on that. Enter. And we wait. And we wait. And we wait some more. Now this is my first time booting into the system. I've never used it before. <laughs> and after some time we're finally into the system we have some desktop icons here it's not fully booted yet there we go looks like it's using GNOME let's see to make sure yep that's GNOME alright the new updates available. Click an update icon to see the available updates. Okay. So far, it looks like there's a lot of effort going into this project. Let's see what's in, if there's anything in the home folder. Nothing special. Let's see what kind of applications we have here. Oh, well, I'm glad it comes with Chromium because I was going to have to install that. So that's good. Chromium, Chromium is the default browser. Hmm, what's this? Time tracker. We're going to look at some of these applications after the install. Game. Just one game. It's not a problem. Oh, they still have OpenOffice. 3.2, where is LibreOffice? Shot, shot well, simple scan. By default, includes Dropbox, that's good. And Skype, good, it's a good start. And Nyferia, feed reader, which is good, I like that program, I use it. Wow, 
come to record my desktop. Which I don't use, so I don't care. Good. So, well, let's see how it is once we begin the install here. Grant permission. Oh, what's going on? What's this? Grant permission without asking for password. It says here. This is cool. Nice information there. So let's close that now that we know what that says. Now this is the installation user interface. Nice. It's my first time doing this, so we're really going to uh try to take our time, make sure we read everything. It's important before executing the, the info installer. You should already have the necessary partitions available on your system. Hmm. This is one of the things I I didn't like about the other uh, Slackware distros. You have to partition everything and make it bootable before you initiate the installation. So let's go to Gparted, which opens as super user. Okay, I see that this pops up all the time, so we're just going to put do not display again, close. Okay, this is my setup here. Why is there an extension 2 here? I don't know why this extension 2. Oh, this is for the boot, I guess. Okay. Well, it's set up pretty good. Six gig for the home for uh, for the uh, route. Thirteen. Okay, that's cool. Well, then let's begin. Set time and place. Since I am right around here, click on the. I don't know if that's how it works. I clicked on it, nothing happened. I just want that. So I guess not clickable. I've never used this before, so. Uh, uh. So I have to select here, like, as if I know Asia. So, so far, the installation is not that intuitive, but I think it's it's workable. Shouldn't be that difficult to do. Select the Asia. And select Rion for city apply. Local apply partition. Okay, select partition, yes. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to mount this as home. Fly. I want this formatted, of course. Here we go. Okay. Fly chain settings. Yes. Okay, users. <coughs> Enter my information here. Ok, 
Okay, so standard user administrator. Okay. So you want to So hit apply here. And apply here. Software. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, we want the full shebang. And this is kind of cool, where you get the option of only installing core, and core and basic. This is great for someone who wants to just build from the root up. They don't want some of these uh, applications in there, but of course I want all the applications. So I'm going to keep it just like this at full. And I'm going to hit apply. <coughs> Now we can launch the Linvo installer. Now let's see how long it will take us. Please wait, the installation of Linvo is progressing. This compass is uh, installed by default. Let's stop effects right here. Not bad. Not bad indeed. Gnome screensaver. Wow. Calibrate touch screen. There's a package manager. Let me test that out. folders uh, upgrade to a newer release cool oh seems like we're done here it says here Denvo installation finished So let's reinstall and see what's going on. Or restart. Uh, Got that we don't go to boots. Boot to hard disk here. This is where I want to go. Enter. And there you have it. Linvo 2010.12. It's kind of old, isn't it? Let's see. Nice. So the installation was, as it seemed, a success. And there we have our Linvo system. Now I'll be using this system for a week or two so I could complete my review. And I'm going to let you know what it's like. New updates available. Let's see how it works with updating. Okay, upgrade 9 packages. Flash. Hmm. Not bad with speed. Speed's pretty good. Oh, we got a successful update, so that's cool. Gonna look at installing programs later. Oh, we got a real player in here. Keep going.